What up heroes? This is James from Restoring Heroes Project, HeroStuffBro.com. How are you doing on the day of today? Look, I got a whole lot to say in a little bit of time and I need you to uh, listen quickly or uh, hear quietly or uh, see blindly. No, I playing. <laughs> like, I don't know what's wrong with me. This is what we're talking about today. The heart of a father, the heart of a father. Look, I've been thinking a whole lot about, um, been doing a whole lot of reading. I've been thinking a whole lot about the tone of my household. So is uh, it, it's 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 a is it a jovial tone? It, is it a domineering tone? What is the morale in my house? What is the morale from um from my family? Are they scared of me? Are they are they do they feel me? Are they full of joy when I come home? All these other things. I've been thinking about that. And I want you men to think about that also because that is important. I read this book called uh, uh the the tale of Tom Bombadil or something Tom Bombadil by C.R. Wiley. And he talks about how Tom Bomba Bombadil, did I say that right? Tom Bombadil, uh, which is from the Lord, the Lord of the Rings lore, um, he was part of the Lord of the Rings. He talks about him having, him being the master, having, being a master, and he was he was full of joy. He was that doesn't mean he lacked power because he was able to laugh and whistle and dance and sing and, and things like that. It's because he was he is the master. He was able to laugh, sing and have jovial dominion, jovial power and authority. So he had authority. He was able to put on a ring of power. Matter of fact, the, the, the book described him as putting a ring of power on his finger. The one that, that made everybody go crazy, made, uh, uh, what is that? Golem go crazy, made, uh, all the, all the other, he was able to put it on his baby finger, his pinky finger, look at it, take it off, toss it in the air, play with it, all the other stuff because he had dominion. So that's what I want for you, man. I want you to have jovial dominion jovial authority with joy with faith knowing that the things that you're going things that you're going to do and the things that you are doing are is going to the god is going to fulfill those promises so raise up a child in a way that she should go and um, where that he should go and when he's older he will not depart that is scripture so you raise your children in a way they should go with that in mind, knowing that God will hold your children, hold fast, your children, hold steadfast, your children, right? I did not mean to say he or she, I meant to say they, but you know, got mixed up. So this one scripture I want you to stick with, um, I'm talking about today, transition here, smooth transitions. All right. It says in Malachi four, chapter four, verse six, and he shall re return, he shall turn the heart of the fathers to to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers lest i come and smite the earth with a curse so it's a blessing men to have your heart towards your children okay and that's having a loving household that's having a the my read this post early i forgot who it was from but the most loving thing you can do is love your wife the most loving thing you can do for your children is is love your wife with with compassion and lead her and guide her according to the scriptures and be a strong um a strong pillar a strong pillar in your household be a person who gives laughter a person who gives not just money but lessons and legacies a, a person who gives discipline but discipline with aim i'm aiming my son when i discipline him towards a biblical man i'm aiming my daughter when i discipline him towards a biblical discipline her towards a biblical woman this is we are doing it with joy because i'm not angry i'm not mad i'm not trying to get back at them nothing like that i want them i'm doing this because the bible says that foolishness is in the in the heart of a child so we have to beat them with the rod or you have to you have to spank them like we do this because god commanded us to do it and we do it because at the end of the day it's good no discipline seems good at the time but it brings forth good fruit i'm paraphrasing the scripture there so we have to bring the heart of the father 
to the heart of the children, the heart of the children, to the heart of the father. So how are you doing with that? How are you doing with that? Because the world is getting the heart of your children. If you're not careful, the world would get the heart of your children. I've been reading this book with my son. Um, it's called The Outlaws of Time. The Outlaws of Time by N.D. Wilson. You need to check out the book. It's a good book. But one of the key factors is the enemy is trying to get Sam Miracle's heart. Once he gets his heart, it's over for Sam Miracle. He, he dies. It's over for him. He's trying to get his heart. And that is a analogy or the truth that's in that in, in that book that the enemy is trying to get the heart of your children in the heart of your father in the hearts of your wives in the the all those he's trying to get the heart once he get the heart it's all over they die a death and they can never be raised again they die a second they die spiritually once he gets their heart and the enemy's trying and he's trying with a whole lot of different things if it's not if if you're not careful your kids will fall in love with comic books if you're not careful your kids will fall in love with characters and dizzy princesses and if you're not careful because you're giving them a foothold you're giving them a foothold in your household when you are not admonishing and teaching them in the ways of the lord if you understand what i'm saying so I'm going to show you a video from one of my friends, uh, Dear Walt Christian, Jason Whitaker. I call him Wit, but Jason Whitaker from Dear Walt Christian. Listen to what he has to say about this. Just since we were in the subject of little girls needing a positive role model. Got you. Got you. I believe little girls should see positive role models in their house you got your whole mama right there your mama should be your number one superhero your daddy should be your number one superhero yes all the other ones are going to be supporting cast all the other ones are going to be uh are, are going to be helps and they're going to be mentors but your mama your daddy need to be your mom your number one super superheroes your number one for your children. If you are not your child's number one uh, um, superhero, your number one um, role model, then sir, ma'am, you need to fix that. I'm just gonna be honest with you. If your child is living in your whole house with you, right? maybe if, you know if the kid is, if something happened in your family, and whatnot, and you don't have access to your child, that's a different game. But if your child is sitting in your living room right now, watching TV, cooking something in your house. You should be their number one role model. Teachers, okay, that's great. Pastors, yes, yep. Uh, people on TV, okay. But you should be number one. That's it. If you're not your child's number one role, uh, number one example and role model, you need to fix that. That's it. Your little girls should learn how men should treat women from seeing your, your the husband dealing with his wife dealing with mama my kids see me all the time and they're like dad i said well if your husband don't love you like your dad loves your mom then you got the wrong man so they already know if if your, your sons should learn how to treat their moms by how they see their dads treat their moms that's it so i don't need lizzo to be a role model for my daughters Shoot, she don't she don't seem to know how to dress dress appropriately. I don't want my kids dressing like that. I, I don't need I don't need a uh, some moldy Cheeto head mumble rapper to be a model for my future son-in-law. I want my future son-in-law to be hopefully learning from his daddy how to be a good husband, so that when he come knocking on my door, I can at least hear what he's saying before I throw him out my house. Uh, so you see what I'm saying? It's important for us to be a role model, a 
we should be the heroes in the eyes of our children. We should be the heroes in the eyes of our wives. Our wives should not be looking at anyone else as an example. Your wife should not be looking at YouTube, looking on YouTube, listening to sermons from another man because you're supposed to be washing over with the word according to Ephesians. Your children should not be listening to another man because you should be besides submitting to your pastor and your elders, right? But you should be the one washing, uh, instructing your children in and in, in in admonishing them in the ways of the Lord. You should be doing that. You should have the hearts of your children and you have, to, and you have to have your hearts, the hearts of your children. The scripture says, he says it because this this will it says in the scriptures, behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet before the coming of a great and dreadful day of the Lord. He shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. The husband, I mean, the the fathers and the children having the heart to loving one another being you being the hero of your household is what god wants let me transition so you can see this is what god wants for your household and he wants it with joy so do you have the heart of your children One more thing before we go. I was looking, you know, going through social media, and it's it's one part that still that stood out to me. Um, this one th video that I saw today, and I want to share it with you. So before I start this, I want to let you know that this is a video. It says it at the bottom, "Welcome home, Dad is back." Welcome home, Dad is back, and I want you to see the reaction of the children. When the father comes back from battling, when the father comes back from war overseas, wherever he's coming back from, I want you to pay attention to their reaction. And the song, the song is powerful too. So here we go. So I can stand on you me up to stormy sea. I am strong when I am on. You see that? You see that love? You see that love right there? That's good stuff. Look, now they're embracing, they're hugging their father. They're 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 excited to see him. They 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 miss their daddy. They miss their father and and though that embrace is kind of what you want every day when you come back from work. Right. You want you want those hugs. You want that excitement. It might sometimes you might have a long day. It might bother you, whatever. But those those moments are precious and they don't last that long. So you need to embrace those things. Those those moments. I wish I had to do this and this and this list for you to, to earn the heart of your children. But I, I want you to. Really, if you if you if your house is, is full of malice and full of anger and angst when you come home and and people are walking on eggshells around, you need to repent. You need to repent and you need to pray for God to give you a heart for your children and you need to pray for God to give your children a heart for you. And you need to pray for that relationship to be healed and and and, and molded back into the image. Because God, God wants you to be that hero. God wants you to be that leader. God wants you to be the protector and the provider and a priest of your home. God wants that for you. Pray to him. Ask. Ask for wisdom on a daily basis. Pray for wisdom. Pray for discernment. Have conversations with your children real conversations ask them more than how their day is going ask them what what are you struggling with how do you feel about yourself 
if your daughter's a teenager she she's getting bombarded on a daily basis with 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 images if you allow her on social media if you even in commercials with images of 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 um airbrushed people people that are not real but they make her feel that she should look like that ask her how she's doing where what where do you feel insecure where where can i pray for you on that your son is being bombarded with images but starting at early as five and six with images of of cleavage of of inappropriate dress uh, sometimes at churches the super short skirts and women uh, having cleavage and all these other things that we allow at the church but your son is dealing with all that so you have to talk to your son about son, son how you doing what what's going on what are you seeing how are you feeling and it should be comfortable to come to you with anything win the heart of your children because if you don't have their heart and if god doesn't have their heart and he's not and you're not molding them pushing them towards christ you're not aiming them towards god then satan has their heart and he's aiming them towards hell the heart of the father your heart should be towards the heart to, towards your children because it's a generation to generation thing you are giving up yourself to invest yourself the, in in your children so 100 years from now when you're no longer here and they're no longer here maybe i don't know their children's children will have your values but they won't remember your name that's what i mean by getting the heart of the children and that's a heart of a father and that's all i gotta say about that heroes until next time be watchful stand firm in the faith act like men and be strong out there and also check out herostuffbro.com i do a whole lot of blogging and writing there and check out my friend he got awesome t-shirts at deafanddefiance.com I wanna